Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe if you are new here and today is going to be a full coverage Friday video. Yay, I know you guys love these videos. I'm gonna be testing out a very highly loved foundation to see if it works for me. I haven't ever tried it before so I don't know how it's gonna work for me. Hopefully I love it just as much as everybody else does but we shall see. Um, if you want to follow me on any social media accounts, Instagram, Snapchat, or Twitter, those all will be linked down in the description below. So make sure you check out the description along with all of the products that I use today. They will also be in the description below. If you want to see how well this foundation works, how it performs and all that jazz, then just keep watching. Okay, so I quickly did my eyes off camera. didn't do anything crazy, just put some bronzer in my crease and some mascara, that's it. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin really quick. I'm gonna be using the Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. Looks like this. The foundation I'm using is gonna be the Fenty foundation. And it is, or at least at, from what I've seen, it is a more matte foundation. So I want as much luminosity as I can get and then I'm going to go in also with my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer just put that in my t-zone or around my nose right here where my pores are large and there we go all right so we're going to go ahead and get started with the foundation application so I'm going to be using the shade 290 hopefully this matches because I didn't really test it out in the store I'm just going to apply it with a brush and blend it out with a sponge. I'm going to use a sponge on one side and a brush on the other. So I'm going to start off with that. Not a lot, just a little bit. I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques sponge and we're going to start blending this out. The consistency is really thin and this is more medium coverage, not full. And it is oxidizing a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but it's darker on my cheek than when it dries than when I first applied it. Shade isn't too bad though. Okay, so that's one like light layer on. Um, it didn't cover everything, but I didn't. I know this isn't a full coverage foundation, so that doesn't bother me. The consistency is really thin, which I like. It's drying down to a matte finish, so I don't think I'm gonna have to set it, which is good. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to build it up because. I need a whole lot more coverage than it's giving me right now. Okay, so that's two layers on. I'm going to build it up just a little bit more. I'm really not liking how this is looking with the sponge, like at all. It looks cakey. It's like bunching up in areas, which is weird. If we can get this together. Also, I'm noticing that it dries super duper quickly. But let's see if this applies better with a brush because I can definitely see this sitting on top of my skin. It is not layering pretty at all, which sucks because usually matte foundations look better with the sponge just because they add a little bit of moisture in them. But not this guy. No, no. I'm going to be using the Morphe M439 brush on this side. See how well this works. Okay, so definitely providing more coverage with a brush. It's spreading the product a lot better and quicker. With the sponge, you had to work really, really fast because the foundation dried quickly. And with this brush, because it's so big, it, it does all the work for you and it does it quickly. So I don't feel like I'm super rushed and it is covering much better. Still going to see some stuff but not as bad as the other side. That's one layer on with the brush. I still see spots peeking through, but it did cover a lot better. I don't even know if I wanna wear this foundation all day because this makes me look like, I don't have a lot of texture on my skin, to be honest, like I don't. Um, ever since starting my skincare that I have been on for a while, I don't have a lot of texture on my skin at all. My skin is super smooth. And this foundation is making me look like I have grains of crap on my face. That's two layers on. Good, we're good, we're covered, works fine. Covered better with the brush, whatever. 
wait until I show you guys my skin up close. And my skin is more normal to dry. It's not super dry. It's not flaky or patchy or snake skin like. No, my skin is normal and I have like tightness in my face. But with a moisturizer, it's fine. It doesn't, it's fine. <laughs> um, let me give you guys a close up of this because this looks disgusting on my skin. I've never put on a foundation and have thought this immediately because this looks awful. <laughs> And I'm sure the lighting is like washing it out, but let me give you a close up, okay? All right, so here's a full face view. Do you see how much pores and whatnot you can see with this on? Here's the sponge side. Do you see how like it's just making me look like I have a ton of texture? No foundation has ever done that to me, ever. Okay, here's this side. This is the brush side. Honestly, this side is not as bad, but it's still bad. I'm gonna finish up my face really quickly and see if I can save this foundation with like setting spray and whatnot. I will be right back to show you the end result because Right now, I am not happy at all. I'll be back. All right, so I am back. I did the bare minimum. I just did a really natural face. Um, not a lot going on or anything. But, so a few things I noticed. Setting spray helped a lot. Did it make everything go away and just make it look beautiful? No, but it helped. Um, also, it didn't dry down to a complete matte. I did just put the tiniest amount of setting powder over this area right here because it was just too tacky for me and um I could still feel the tackiness that's how I know I don't I didn't put like too much um but it helped a lot um it still looks really really dry and up close it still looks super cakey super cakey it does look a lot better with the brush than with the sponge I think because I built it up so much with the sponge it didn't build super well so it just started to like chunky and like cling on to areas and all the stuff that we don't want to happen and with the brush I didn't have to go in as many times and I could spread the product out quicker so it blended in a lot better but that being said it still looks very very cakey especially right around my pores area around my nose it's clinging on to spots it didn't cover spots really well like I have a spot right here that is actually flat but it almost looks like it's raised and darkened, which is weird. Um, I have a spot right here that's barely raised, barely, and it looks like it's super raised. And um, over here, any little thing I have on my skin is showing. It is raised, it is caked up, it is built around, it just looks awful. And even with three coats, it did not cover everything. I could still see a lot peeking through, especially right here. Even on my forehead, it looks like muddy or patchy or something. I don't know, but I didn't do anything different with this foundation than I do with other foundations. Um, I used a luminizing primer. I used setting sprays. I prepped my skin beforehand because I knew that this was supposed to be a matte foundation. And it still just doesn't look good. Like I said, my skin is more normal. It is not more dry, not more oily. It is more normal than anything. And if anything, I get oily right here and have dry spots here and there. And my skin feels tight, but not like deserty. It doesn't feel like sandpaper or anything. It doesn't feel like it has texture. My skin is really, really smooth. Um, I just have a lot of scars or um, dark spots 
But other than that, my skin is very, very, very smooth. So for me to see all of these impurities look like they're just times 10 is driving me insane. I do not like this foundation like right now. Hopefully throughout the day it wears really well because I love when a foundation, like when it first goes on, it's, eh, it's all right, it's fine. But at the end of the day, it looks really, really good because it wears well throughout the day. Hopefully that that, that is the situation for today. We shall see. Here is a full face view. Here is the sponge side. Here is the brush side. Um, when I put on this foundation, it was around 12 on the dot. It is currently 1256. So it was about 12 on the dot when I started putting on the foundation. It's currently 1256. So I will update you at the end of the night. I don't know how long I'm going to wear this because I have to go to the gym later on tonight, but we shall see. Maybe I'll make it a late session. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I will update you at the end of the night to show you guys what this looks like on. And if I still hate it, because right now I hate it. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I am back. It is currently eight o'clock on the dot. So I've had this on for eight hours and I still don't like it. Mm. My oils did peek through, which isn't a bad thing in my opinion because the foundation looked so cakey earlier, but it still looks cakey. It doesn't look fresh or youthful like it just it it looks gross i don't like this foundation and if you have normal too dry skin you are not gonna like this foundation if you have oily skin this might be a great foundation for you i really 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 did not like this foundation i'm very disappointed sad the foundation costs 34 dollars which isn't horrible for a sephora price because it is only sold at sephora if you want to buy it in store but the shade range is amazing it now comes with 50 shades instead of 40. so here it says skin type normal dry combination and oily not one single dry soul is going to like this foundation i'm just telling you now you have dry skin you are going to absolutely hate this foundation if you don't believe me go get a sample at your sephora and try it out for yourself because i promise dry skin is not gonna like this this is this one was not a winner in my book i have to get going to the gym so i'm gonna make this short sweet and quick i'm gonna give you guys a close up and then i'll say goodbye to you here's a full face view Here is the sponge side. Here is the brush side. I've never been happier to take a foundation off in my life. This foundation looks horrible on my skin. Just I kind of feel like you need to have oily, flawless skin if you want to wear this foundation because it just, it brought out all my impurities. It looks like cake, literally, with sprinkles on it, okay? I'm so disappointed. So disappointed. Because as you can see, I'm oily now. Oily. And it just, it still looks bad. Like, what is that? Those spots aren't even like bad. Oh, I'm just, I'm disappointed guys. That's all I can say. I'm gotta go. I have to go to the gym. So I will see you guys in my next video. I am sorry that this foundation didn't work out. Let me know your thoughts on this foundation. Did you love it? Cause I know some people swear by this foundation. Um, so let me know down in the comments if you really, really like this foundation. And if you do, I'm sorry that I had to rain on your parade. But for me, this foundation just didn't work out. But I do really, really, really love Fenty as a brand. They are an amazing brand. Love everything Rihanna comes out with. She's popping, you know. 
Um, just the foundation didn't work for me, which makes me skeptical about the concealer because I wanted to try the concealer, but I don't know anymore, you know? But yeah, that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!